guys, we've made it to South Dakota. We uh, had a little bit of a drive. It was probably around two hours or so from Alex's grandparents' house. Um, we just fished for bass there for a few days and we were able to get a decent amount of bass. We weren't able to find any big ones, but um, it still should be some good videos for you guys to go back and watch. So if you want to check those out, you can. But um, that is not the target in this video. Um, in this video, we're going to be going out targeting some walleye. But as you guys saw, we had some pretty pretty bad weather moved through that actually we were lucky enough to kind of be on the edge of it and it passed through very quickly so we might get a chance to get out and fish tonight which is nice because we weren't thinking we'd be able to so um, we're probably just going to fish from the shore tonight see if we can get some walleye under our belt and um, yeah we're just going to try our best to get it done. All right guys, well we made it down to the spot. Um, the audio might not be the best because we're fishing literally right off this little highway here. So we're gonna see what we can do here. We're just gonna work our way along these rocks and just kind of cast out. There's some nice timber um, out here too that looks pretty good. So we're just gonna cast around and see what we can do. That looks decent. <laughs> That's a nice one. I mean not massive. Yeah. <laughs> Well, and of course the rain's coming. He's showing us up, Alex. I know. Yeah, I'm gonna throw on a jig in a minute now. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Oh, look at this. Oh my god. Look at this rolling too. We have similar conditions, just not a front pushing through like yesterday. As you guys saw, we got absolutely destroyed by the rain and everything. But yeah, we just moved around a little bit this morning. Wasn't as good. The wind was uh, definitely not on our side. It's still windy now too, but it's a little more tolerable than it was this morning. But we had not caught anything at any of the spots we checked today. So hopefully uh, at this new spot tonight, um, we'll be able to get it done. So we'll see what we can do. All right, guys, I got a new rod. I'm going to try this. Uh, my rod had braid on it, which could have been affecting the bite possibly. Um, so I'm going to try this. This has mono, and uh, maybe that will make a difference. Maybe that braid was kind of being a little, making the fish a little finicky. I'm not sure, but I'm going to try this out, and uh, maybe this will change my luck. Wow. Would you look at that? I switch up to mono and second cast I catch a walleye. And that could be a reason why I wasn't catching them. Alex told me to switch up because him and his grandpa are using mono. I was the only one using braid. And then literally that was second cast with this and I caught one. Finally got one in, in the bag for my limit and uh, hopefully we'll catch some more tonight. Got another Alex. Oh, yes. There we go. There's my second fish of the night, and um, I got two more fish to go until I live it out. But um, it's already been a ton of fun because I've been watching everyone else catch fish, which has been awesome. But it feels good to finally get on a couple for myself. So, there we go. There's a second one. It's a pike, I think I 
spot. It's a nice pike. I might be able to just kind of swing him up. Dude. Oh my god. Dude. Oh, this is a nice pike. Oh, dude, it actually is it's a actually pike. It's actually a nice pike. Do you want me to go grab the net? Uh, he's grabbing it, but... Dude, this is actually a good thing. Oh. Oh. I got you sure yeah, it. Nose in yep. There, there you go. go. You've been getting hit by pike all day and you finally got one. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh. Dude. Well, you got him on land. That's that all that was counts. Fat. That was probably like a 32, 33 inch. <laughs> We're just going to work our way along these rocks here. I'm just going to go down a little bit further and uh, see if I can get some more walleye. There we go. There's another one. Ah, uh, he's a little bit small. There we go. This one's a little bit smaller than the last two I caught, but um, we're gonna keep this guy for my limit and uh, just throw him in there. And yeah, another good walleye. This guy ate a little bit deeper. There's like some rocks that come down and it drops off really quickly. So you're able to get out to some deeper water, but a lot of them have been eating up shallow closer to the rocks. And this guy actually ate out in that little bit deeper water. But um, yeah, he's got one more for my limit and uh, we'll see if we can get another one to finish it off. we go guys just a little guy but I was able to complete my limit for the night and uh, all three of us have limited out which is pretty awesome so we're all gonna have fish to take home tonight and uh, there we go this guy finally ate right at sunset and um, yeah pretty sweet to get this last fish there's the first basket let's grab the second basket this is where the most of them are at but a uh, three-man limit looks like right there so those are some nice fish. Alright guys, we just made it back to the camper. Uh, it's getting pretty dark out, so I hope you guys can still see me alright. Finished up cleaning that three-man limit of walleye, which is super sweet. We were all super happy to be able to limit out. And um, we have not been able to take the boat out yet because of the weather. The weather has not been good. But um, as you guys can see, it's a lot better now. The wind's been a lot better and the weather's actually kind of on our side. So we're hoping to be able to wake up and take the boat out in the morning and do some trolling. Um, so we'll see what we can get done tomorrow. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And yeah, hopefully we'll get some good walleye tomorrow as well. So don't forget to get out and learn some more. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.